So you want to know if you could become an independent courier with a DUI you got a while back. What's up, Hustlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. And in this video, I'm going to address a question that I feel like I addressed multiple times before. And this is for the Hustlers that have been rocking with me for a while. They're always asking me, can I become an independent courier with a DUI? I got it two years ago. I got it seven years ago. I got it however many years ago. My answer has always been, if it's a recent DUI, the answer is no. If it's been a while, it's really up to the company. It's a case-by-case -case situation. But hopefully this video settles it once and for all. I'm going to call the company that I told you guys about in my last live stream. Don't comment below and ask me what company that was. You should have been watching the live stream. But if you want to know, go check out my live stream. It's still up, the last one that I did. But anyway... I'm about to contact a company that is well known. I'm going to put it on speakerphone and I'm going to straight up just ask them. Now, I don't have a DUI. I never had a DUI. Looking up their policies right now, saying that they want you to have no more than two violations in the past three years on your driving record. So what I'm going to tell them is that I have no violations on my driving record for the past five years but i had a dui five years ago now the first way i'm going to try to approach it is i'm going to see if they'll actually consider giving me the contract without us bringing it up granted the approach i'm going to take is that i'm going to put somebody in the equipment that's working for me like i'm not going to be the driver they're going to be the driver and i'm going to see if that would allow me to get this contract granted i'm not really pursuing this contract I just found the random contract that they're looking for people to take over. It pays between $600 to $1,300 a week in, where is this, Miami, Florida, which I'm not really sure what the cost of living is in Miami. That might be good. That might be bad. But anyway, this is just an example anyway. Without further ado, let me give them a call. And my phone is about to die, so hopefully we can make this happen real quick. I should get my charger real quick. Thank you for calling the South Florida. Okay, so I didn't get an answer. I'm going to find another number for him. A few moments later. I'm finding companies in New York, but... I'm not finding the company that I'm looking for. I'm, I'm looking for a company that's not just regional. I'm trying to find one that's all over the place. Okay, I'm finding a lot of routes, but why can't I find the route that I'm looking for? You know what? I'm just going to randomly call a company real quick because it seems like I'm not having any luck finding a company that's located everywhere other than FedEx. But I'm pretty sure if I call FedEx... You guys will probably just hear me leaving a message. But let's try FedEx. FedEx is offering eight hundred to a thousand dollars a week. Uh this is this looks like it says New York to the Stamford, Connecticut area. Um I'm I'm not super familiar with New York, so I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm just looking for an example to use. And they have an email address. But no number? That's very weird. I'm just going to find a company that contract these drivers, and I'm just going to straight up ask them. That's the new plan, because we're just having bad luck today. Eventually. For English, please press 4. Clauses para su llamada al grupo AX. Español, presa número 5. Please hold while your call is transferred. <laughs> This is Kate. Can I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm looking to speak to somebody about the uh, courier contract that's posted online. Are you able to help me with that? And it said, call this number, independent contractor with Cargo Van in Linden, New Jersey. Okay. Now, uh, so it's with the Cargo Van? Yes. That's what okay. it's Okay. Because I'm 
because we have uh, several ads out there, okay? So, okay. yes, we do have a Linden, New Jersey office, um, and it is uh, in regards to um, about delivering pharmaceutical uh, to either hospitals or pharmacies every day, Monday through Friday. Okay. Um, okay, so you would actually have to... Um, it is an independent contractor, so you know what the, the, the difference is between an independent contractor and an employee. Okay. Yep. So that yeah, means you know you're you're your own boss. You're responsible uh, to make deliveries out of your own vehicle. Uh, you're responsible for all costs, doing the business, the fuel, maintenance, insurance, tolls, etc. Yes, ma'am. Um, it is a 1099 at the end of the year, so that means you would be responsible for filing your own taxes. Okay. You know, everything's a tax write-off for you. So, um, you know, you would actually come into our office, sit down uh, with one of the managers, fill out a profile, bring a few documents in with you, like your driver's license, your social security card, your vehicle, for your registration, including your insurance debt page, uh, GPS, and a cell phone. Um, and once you do that, you sit down and you listen to them, and if you do think it's a good business move for you, we would actually move forward with a, um, a background check, criminal background check, a drug screen with a hair sample, along with your driving record. Okay, okay. I I just have one question. Um, if I have multiple vans and I got guys that work for me as well, is this contract uh one of the ones that I could possibly have one of my guys drive for me, or do I have to do sure. it myself? You would okay. have to actually pass the background check, the drug screening, and also your driving record first. Okay. And then once you do that, then we would move on with your drivers. Okay. All right. No problem. So even if I'm not driving, I need to uh, do all that That's for correct. myself? Yes. Oh. You are the owner. Okay. All right. And one more question I have is um, if I have guys that um, they had a DUI five years ago, does that disqualify yeah, them? For... He would be disqualified. Okay. How, how far so back? About Ten years. Ten years. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. There you have it, you guys. This company is actually a medium-sized company, so it's not even the biggest company, but it's definitely not the smallest company. It looks like they pretty much service the entire northeastern part of the United States, so I see them anything from Maryland north. So there you have it, you guys. It took a while, but I finally reached a company that contracts independent couriers and you heard it from them now granted that's not the only company that does this i am aware of that but just so you guys can get another opinion besides mine in my opinion based off of my experiences if it's been recent the answer is no if it's been a while it's a case by case situation this particular company if it's been within the last 10 years the answer is no now, i know some people might feel like the alternative would be trying to get a direct contract from the pharmaceutical company or from the post office or whatever but to determine if that's possible you just need to contact them directly I'm pretty sure that the standards are not going to be lower for you to get the direct contract that's, that's just being honest with you But there are other ways you can make money if you have a DUI. I'm going to do some more content on making money online if that interests you. But I hope this helps somebody out there. If your DUI was over 10 years ago, you're pretty much in the clear for most companies. It's, if it's less than 10 years, it can go either way. To all my hustlers, stay hustling. JT Hustles, I'm gone. Have you ever loved someone?